Welcome to this episode of Locked In. In this episode, I'm doing my full review and is it worth it for the Garbarook extended derailleur cage and jockey wheel upgrade? Is this $132 derailleur cage really worth it for your SRAM, Shimano, or who knows what else, rear derailleur? If you're interested in finding out, please stay tuned. Now in this video, I'm gonna be talking about the specs and features of this cage specifically, the price, the setup, and my final thoughts. So let's get into the specs and features of this derailleur cage. Now this cage is a complete lower cage replacement for your rear derailleur. Now they do have a plethora of options as far as what brands and models it does work with. Now in this video, I'm gonna be using it specifically on my SRAM Apex One derailleur, but any of the other derailleurs that SRAM makes in this lineup, Rival and Force, will also work with this. You can get a full compatible list of every other derailleur they currently work with in the links in the description below. Since this is a full replacement, it does extend your rear derailleur max tooth capacity. Now, if you don't already know, the long cage that comes spec on any of these SRAM one by derailleurs is gonna be a 42 tooth max cassette. Now, I have done this with a 46 tooth and I have a lit video that I'll link in the description below that I did this on a stock driller with no problem, but it definitely was a little bit stretched and didn't shift as good as it did before. When I wanted to make my monster gravel bike build that I featured on this channel, building my Cobalt Warhawk, I wanted to go up to that magical 50 tooth cassette and I wanted to find the best cleanest and obviously a lightweight and aesthetically pleasing option. Now, the really cool thing is it does feature a really high-end CNC aluminum cage and you can upgrade it with CNC oversized jockey wheels they do offer as well. And you can option with a multitude of colors for the jockey wheel upgrade for this. You can technically use your stock pulleys, but I really wouldn't because to maximize what you're gonna get out of this rear derailleur cage, I definitely would spend the extra and go with the extra jockey wheels and they do look really cool. So this is gonna bump me all the way up to that 50 tooth max capacity. And if you guys haven't watched this channel, I've had zero issues with this setup and I've really, really liked how it came out. Now you can order these items separately on their site, so if you wanna upgrade to the jockey wheels later, you can, but you can order these in a variety of colors for both the cage and the jockey wheels to set any kind of color combo that you think suits well for your bike. Obviously I chose the black cage with the purple jockey wheels. Now let's get into setup. This is honestly very, very easy. All you're simply gonna be doing, and they do have a tutorial on their website, is replacing your, the rear of your derailleur cage. You do have to be careful of that because with a clutched rear derailleur, there is a spring, so there is some spring tension, but you're basically gonna be reusing all the stock hardware off your original cage, replacing that onto the Garbara cage, and then simply clocking your derailleur back and bolting it all together. Once I've done that, I've never had to retighten this or adjust it since the initial installation. And I believe I've had over 800 miles on this setup so far. So let's get into my final thoughts. Now this is obviously a more pricey option to give you that extended range compared to a simpler, more cost-effective option like the Wolf Tooth Road Link. Now I have used the Road Link as well to get this 50 tooth capacity before on my stock derailleur and it did work, but there is a definite shift improvement just modifying the cage and not adding a extension on your derailleur hanger to your derailleur. So yes, it is more money, but it really does shift better. The oversized jockey wheels, did I notice a wattage difference or savings? No, but they do look cool. And basically the theory for a larger jockey wheel is your chain has less stress when looping around. So it should flow better and effectively take out some of the friction in your drivetrain to make it that much smoother. As far as maintenance for this, I haven't had to do anything besides wipe this cage down when I do clean my bike, but the bearings in the jockey wheels, again, have stood the test of time for over 800 miles and multiple bike washes with no issues or grittiness in it. Now, if you don't feel comfortable modifying this cage yourself, you could take this to a local bike shop. Obviously, you'd want to probably show them the link because I doubt most of them are gonna know about it. But realistically, if you look at their tutorial and take your time with it, and again, be careful because of the clock spring, I think anybody with just a basic set of Allen keys can honestly do this themselves. So I definitely would recommend this if you're trying to breathe new gearing or life into your current bike. Obviously, you have to have somewhat of a new generation of parts on there, but let's say you got a medium or short cage rear derailleur for your rival or force one by setup. This is a great way to add in that extended range to your bike if maybe you hopped on this gravel trend a little early before the massive mega range cassettes were out. So this is gonna be a very easy upgrade. Or if you're looking to buy one of SRAM systems, a little bit of hack for me is if you actually find a medium or short cage derailleur, typically they're a lot cheaper nowadays on the secondhand market than the long cage because most people are looking for the long cage rear derailleurs. That's an easy way to get a derailleur really cheap and then add this really baller accessory to it to give you that full 50 tooth capacity beyond what you normally spend and save a little money in the meantime. So if you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. Subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. You can follow me on Facebook and Instagram. Links are in the description below. 
you're interested in supporting this channel so we can create even more content for you weekly because I am trying to make this a full-time YouTube thing. Links in the description below for my Patreon where I do offer awesome perks at different tier levels. And lastly, thanks for watching another episode of Locked In. Let's get locked in